you are welcome back once again to this session. In today's video, we are going to look at how to determine or calculate the grading system for Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, right? which is a renowned public university in Ghana and in Africa as a whole. So before we get started, let's look at some terms associated with the grading system under Kenya University as Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Now, for a student to be in a first class, we expect that student to earn a mark or a CWA of what? 70 plus. What is a CWA? What is a CWA? That is the grading system we use in Kenya University, we use in Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. CWA means that cumulated weighted what? Average. Cumulated weighted average. Cumulated weighted average. Okay. So, for a student to be in first class, we expect that that student earns a cumulated weighted average that is above 70 or 70 and what above. So first class, first class, 70 and above. For second class upper, we expect the student to be in the range of 60 to 69.99. Is that okay? That is second, second class or upper. But for a student to be under second class lower, it should be ranging from 50 to what? 59.99. That is the second class what lower. Is that okay? Anything below 50 will be deemed as what pass. And other information related to that. So these are the things that you need to know when it comes to the CW of Kwame Kwame University of Kwame Kwame University of Science and Technology students in terms of how they award them with respect to first class, second class, and those parameters. So let's get into real deal for today. So before before we get started to it, we also need to know what WA means. WA means weighted average. Weighted average, you are talking about what? The total average that that particular course that the student is reading carries. Is that okay? The total average that the particular course that the student is reading what carries in terms of what the number. So in, do, in doing that, this is how we determine the weighted average for a particular course. Now let's say this is a course that a student is reading in first semester. Is that okay? It's a course that students is reading in first semester. And at the end of the day, you obtain the following what? Max for it and their respective what credit hours. So let's see. For business finance, the credit hours was three and then the mark was 84. Microeconomics was two and then Max is 84, and then quantitative methods, the credit hours was two, and he had what? 93. So now you want to determine the CWA for this student in first semester. So, how do you go by it? So, first thing that you need to do is to first of all calculate individual what? C, calculate individual weighted average, sorry. Calculate individual weighted average. So, to do that, all that you need to do is to multiply the credit hours by what the max so you multiply the credit hours by the max so here you multiply 3 by 84 you're gonna arrive at 252 two. and then you come to microeconomics you multiply 2 by 84 you're gonna arrive at 168 and that of quantitative method you multiply 3 by 93 so in this case, seven. once you're able to calculate what the weighted average for each course and the total weight each course carries, the next thing that you want to do is to find the total credit hours that is the student for the course that the student is reading and also the total weighted what average. I hope that is clear. So here you're going to add 3 plus 2 is going to give me what? 5 plus 3 is going to give me what? 8. So here's going to give me what? A credit hours of what? 8. So a credit hours, we're talking about the number of hours that that course carries so once you would calculate total credit i also do same for your weighted what average so with my calculation here weighted average i had a total of what six nine nine so once you're able to do that the next thing you want to find is to calculate the cumulated weighted average for that student for that particular what for that particular semester So the CWA for this particular student is going to be the total weighted average divided by the total credit hours. So you realize that the total weighted average 
was 699 so pick that figure from there and then divided by the total credit array which was what 8 that we obtained so per my calculation i arrived at 87 that's the cwa for this particular student but this time it's going to 87.3 and realize that for this semester the student had a cw of 87.3 so you can clearly interpret that this student is a first class student because we said for you to earn a first class and the cw system in Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, we expect you to have what, what, 70 and what, above. So, this student is in first class, what, color. So, let's take note of that. So, this is how we calculate what, the CWA for the first semester. Now, let's get back to the second semester for the same year. Now, the second semester too, these, are, these were the number of courses that the student registered and then the credit hours for each course. So, now let's see. So you're also going to do the same for this. You're going to multiply the credit hours by the max. We do the same for all the three. So you assume that you had three. I hope that was three, yes. So that's what you're going to do. So you're going to multiply. So let's have a WA here, which is the weighted average. I hope that is clear. And these are credit hours and then the max. So let's do that in that case. So with the second semester, the same thing you're going to do. You multiply the credit hours by the max that that student will score for that particular what semester. I hope that is clear. So in doing that, when I multiply 3 by 85, I had what? 255. For microeconomics 2, when I multiply 3 by 83, I had 249. And then when I multiply 3 by 17, and that was what logistics and supply chain management, I arrive at 2, 3, 7. So, as we engage on or the that of the first semester, we're going to do the same for here. So, here to add the total credit hours, you, go, you add the total weighted words average. I hope that is clear. So, here 3 plus 3 plus is going to give me what 9, and here to when I added all, I had. 741. I believe that is clear. So once you're able to get this, now we want to determine the cumulative weighted average for this semester, now the second semester for this particular student that we are calculating the CWA. So let's see how you can do that. So in that state, I can say that the CWA for this student for this semester alone is going to be what 741 divided by the total what credit, which is what 9. So in, in doing that, I had or arrived at an answer of 82.33 as the CWA for this student for just this semester alone. But hey, you want to determine the overall CWA, the cumulative weighted average for these two semesters. But at the end of the day, we expect we want to find out the CWA or the cumulative weighted average that the student is actually carry on to the next what level right so because this we assume that this is just for first year second first semester and what second semester all right so we want to know the overall cw average that the student is student going to carry on to the next what level so in doing that that's what you're going to do in doing that is what you're going to do you're going to add up all the credit hours for first semester and second semester, we add them together and also do the same for the total weighted average for first semester which was what 699 and also add that of what 749 is that okay and at the end of the day the total is going to arrive at for the cwa for sorry for the weighted average for first semester and second semester you add the two and you divide by the total credit hours for the first semester and what the second semester for this particular student so now in doing that we can say that therefore the overalls Cumulated weighted average for this student is going to be the weighted average for first semester, which was what 699. This 699, right? So it's going to be 699 plus you also add up that of for second semester on, which was what 741, and then divide by the credit hours for first semester was what 8, which was 8. Plus that of the second semester was what nine. 
I believe that is clear. So when I add up 699 plus 4741, I arrive at what 1440. And out of 8 plus 9, I had 17. So now the overall weighted average that the student is carrying on to the next level is going to be so here I arrive at what 84.71. So it is going to be the average that the student is going to be carry on to the next level right so that is the cumulated weight so this is how we calculate for the cumulated weighted average for a student in Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology so always you multiply the credit hours by the max so that you get to know the total weighted average for each course and you add all the weighted average for each course you do same for the total credit hours too and you divide the total weighted average for that particular semester by the total credit hours for that particular semester i hope that is clear and then when you move on to the next word semester you also do same but then for us to know the weighted average that the student is going to carry on to the next level is going to be the total weighted average for the first semester and second semester for first year and a total of what credit hours for first semester and second semester for the same year and then you divide the total weighted average for these two semesters by the total credit hours and then you arrive at the CWA the CWA that the student is going to carry on to the next level so that is how we calculate for the cumulated weighted average but then you can clearly see that at first in the first semester, the student had what 87.38. But I realized that in the second semester, he, he arrived at the overall average. He made what 84.7. What, what accounted for this reduction? He realized that at any time you started the work with what a good CWA for the first start, we expect you to keep that consistency. I mean, maintain your learning habit. If your learning habit reduces, meaning that at the end of the day, if your average that you have for the first semester is greater than what you are having for this semester, then it means that your average, your overall average is going to go to reduce. Is that okay? So always for you to maintain consistency with your average or with your cumulative weighted average, we expect you as a student that you always have a CWA for a particular semester that is greater than your previous what CWA. So once you have that, you're going to always increase your current CWA but then if your current CWA you are having for the bar particular semester is less than the previous cumulated weighted average then it's going to reduce your overall CWA that's why you can see here for this particular student he started well with 87.38 but because for the second semester he had the average to be 82.33 that's why it reduces his average from 87.38 84.71 so as and when you move on with the levels we expect you that if you want to maintain consistent cwa you always have a cwa for particular that is greater than your previous one cumulated weighted average in that you're going to increase your CWA. but then if you have a cwa for a particular semester that is lesser than your previous cwa that is a cumulated weighted average is going to reduce your CWA for the current semester. So this is how we calculate for a cumulated weighted average or the grading system for Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology students. So if video was really helpful to you, please go ahead to like this video, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the channel, share this video with all your friends and everybody and every student in Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology so that we can get more engagement on this video. So I will see you in the next video where we bring out with other presenters that will help to assist you to better understand the whole content about our grading system in Kwame Kwame University of Science Technology. So I will see you for now. Bye bye.